All right, I'm going to show you how to use this texture importing tool. What this tool does is it imports a folder of textures into Houdini, into a material network using MTLX, MaterialX nodes. Then that will be ready to be rendered out in both the Karma CPU and Karma XPU engines. All right. So all I have here is a sphere with a UV texture on it. And I want to click this first tool on my toolbar, Images to MTLX. Navigate to the folder with my material. Accept. Okay, this uh, imported my albedo, ambient occlusion, normal displacement, and roughness. All right, let's uh, see what that looks like. I have a Karma node out here. Let's open up the Karma viewport. Um, this Karma node, all, all I did was uh, increase the pixel samples to 100. Um, right now it's on XPU. That finished within 10 seconds. Looks pretty good. Let's take a snapshot of that. Get rid of these old ones. Okay, switch to CPU engine. Alright, we can see this takes substantially longer. Let's go ahead and take a snapshot. Compare. Alright, so here's the GPU result and the CPU result. So they look pretty similar, but the CPU does seem to be, have a higher fidelity, which is nice. Now you might have noticed there are two more two more tools here in the toolbar, and this is for saving and deleting user presets. So let's say we import one of these textures and we have some custom data that we've configured in any of the nodes in this network. So for me, for example, I am not satisfied with this displacement. I'd like higher displacement for these rocks. So I will increase it to 0 0.07. See how that looks. And substantially more displacement happening now. All right. So if I had any other parameters that I wanted to change I could and if I go up a level to this material network have it selected and click on the save presets the output in the Python shell uh, I'm in the technical view here so I have we have a Python shell window open the output will let us know uh, all the presets that were saved and each preset in here is saved as the name of the node which are based on the image files and also the name of the folder, which is, should be the name of your texture folder. If we delete this node and load back up the same texture that we had before, and we go in here, the user preset that had been saved will automatically be loaded. All right, so this is just something extra. You don't have to use it, but it's there if you need it. And if you get, if your settings get messed up or you don't understand what you did, you can always go ahead and delete all presets so that when you come back in again and load it up, it'll be back to that default preset. All right, so that's how that works.